Hello everyone, my name is Mark Kageyama and I'd like to welcome everyone here to To Be Your Own Hero. I'm doing absolutely incredible and I hope you are as well. And I'm so excited about uh, today's interview with a friend of mine uh, from halfway around the world and I will be introducing her soon, but please, uh, I'm gonna give my commercial as I always do, Please subscribe, like, and make a comment in the comment section of this video to be your own hero. And I really don't have any new health updates, but uh, other than the fact that uh, my legs are getting stronger and I'm able to push uh, more with my exercise, and and uh, I, I'm just really thrilled. And I'm really thrilled and happy to be here with everyone again. And I'm really happy to introduce uh, a, a friend of mine, uh, Maria Motia from Cyprus, halfway across the world. And she is an amazing, amazing person. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let her introduce herself and explain what she does. Maria, it's yours. Hello, Mark. Hi, everyone. My name is Maria Motea. I am from Romania and living in Cyprus for 20 years, more than 20 years. And I am hypnotherapist. So I help people with lots of kind of issues. From depression to anxiety, uh, cancer, and a lot of pain. Some people are suffering with pain in their body. And what is hypnosis? Because people are so confused about hypnosis. The hypnosis is not the one that you see on the stage, that you will sleep and you don't know what you do. You are not in control of your body. So the hypnosis that I'm doing is just a relaxing state of mind. You are all the time in control. You can come out of the hypnosis anytime you want. Hypnosis doesn't take over your brain. So during the hypnosis, we access the subconscious mind and the conscious mind is going to relax. So always in the subconscious mind, we find the root cause of the issue that the client are coming to me. And the session take like two to three hours, depends on any issue. And uh, at the end, I'm gonna make a personal audio for the client to listen it for 21 days. So uh, this audio is like rewiring the brain, installing new and positive imprints into the mind. I, I had the great uh, uh, fortune, great fortune. I met Maria through LinkedIn, of course. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't remember exactly how it happened, but I, I just feel so fortunate and happy that uh, we connected. And, uh, you know, like most people, I, I, always, I was always fascinated by uh, hypnotherapy and, and like most people, I had the perception that I've seen in comedy shows or, or the movies where a person gets hypnotized and, and you know, they're made to do all these crazy stunts and act like a fool. And, and, and this is not like that at all. And so I've had the great privilege and honor to be working with Maria. And she is, she is amazing, absolutely amazing. And so what she's done for me is she's created audio tapes, which I listen to every day. And it feeds my subconscious mind. And they're really amazing because uh, I've heard the tapes countless times now. And I still, uh, I've told Maria this a number of times, even after uh, a month, I still, it's, I still hear parts of the audio tapes and it's like, I never heard that before. And, and so what happens is sometimes I even fall asleep listening to it, but the audio tapes keep going and she feeds my mind and 
it invigorates me and I and I listen to it uh, before I go to sleep and I listen to it when I wake up first thing in the morning so Maria how can hypnosis be used in relationship to cancer and other diseases um they say when a person suffer in the childhood uh, in relation with parents or long time ago and he will never understand in time and let's say um, he never expressed his feelings because he was not allowed from the mother from the father no was not allowed to speak so all these suppressed feelings that we have inside of us if we don't take them out and if we don't release they go and they go into one organ in our body can be the lungs can be um, the kidneys any organ can be the heart because you cannot release and what is the purpose of the the hypnosis i take people back in time in the childhood and we go back in uh, like three four memories in their childhood and they are we find out things that they cannot see when they are conscious. We can, um, some, with some people, it's so amazing what they can see when they are in hypnosis. It's really unbelievable. I am also amazed what I see, but as a hypnotherapist, you have to be a very good leading because you have to lead that person to the themes to find out, I am like a detective. I need to gather information, a lot of information, so I can help that person. There is people, they go in hypnosis and they will uh, say, uh, uh, I can't see anything, is that usual? If you are not good in this, you will say, okay, let's move to another scene, but no, this is wrong you will say, okay, it's dark, and tell me what do you feel in the body, because this is very important, the feelings. I always follow the feelings. And from that feeling, the client is opening and tell me, I feel this because my father is beating me or my mother is shouting to me and I cannot express. And from here I start, to gather more and more information. And I make the client to release them at the end and feel so light. People with cancer. I uh, see that people with cancer, what they have, um, they cannot speak in front of someone when they was young or somebody bull, uh, was bull. In the school, they could not speak was bullying or um, somebody as a teacher when they uh, let's say if you are um, like five six year old and you are in the school and you couldn't speak in front of the teacher and the other kids laugh on you this will remain inside of you maybe you will not realize for a few years but let's say if you have one day to speak in public and uh, suddenly you realize that you have panic attacks because you cannot speak. This is the thing is coming up to you because remember from the time when you was five or six that this happened to you and the mind remembers, remembers everything. You, you have oh. taught me so much, Maria, about the subconscious mind, and 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 I've learned so much through our conversations. And you took me back to my childhood and yes. things things that I had totally forgotten, and and you know, but we suppress them and we put them back, and it builds, and, and that's those are things that need to be released in order for us to be free and to move on 
and, and the subconscious mind through this process I've learned is just so, so powerful. And, and I never understood that, but it's just, I have been so fascinated, absolutely incredibly fascinated by, by what you do and what I've learned. And, uh, after I listen to your audio, audio tapes, I am refreshed and invigorated and, and it really does a, a lot for me. And, and I thank you so much. And I mean, what you do is just amazing to me. Absolutely amazing. I've always wanted to, to learn about it. And, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for introducing me to this whole world of our subconscious mind that I didn't know anything about. And, and so, you know, as part of my cancer journey, I've been so incredibly blessed to meet people such as you who have taught me so much and all these different facets to my cancer journey that I, that I've learned and, and embraced. And, and so I'm just, just so thrilled to, do this with you and, and share this because I want people to see uh, all these different facets of a cancer journey. And so it, it's been incredible. So my next question for you, should people listen to their gut when they make decisions? In other words, should they follow their instincts? How important is that? Oh, yes, definitely. This, I advise everyone, follow your instinct. When you feel that, let's say you go for an interview and you feel like, oh no, I, this job is not for me. This, follow your instinct that this is not for you. In any situation, follow. It's like, I give an example to me. I always go in the hypnosis with people by following my instinct. When they come to me and they tell me, I'll give you an example, a girl came to me that she was biting her nails for 30 years. And uh, I knew immediately where is the root cause, where I have to go. Just my stick like that cause. And in every session, I go with my instinct. When I met you and you sent me that, um youtube channel to see i knew exactly i knew immediately my instinct say i can help mark and uh, i could see through you that you're gonna live and you're gonna live so many here years and i'm gonna see you dancing you remember i told you <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <And I'm, laughs> I'm going to follow you all this year and we're going to meet one day because I was, and I am very positive, very positive. Yeah. And uh, my instinct was saying to me, help Mark just get in contact with him because you can help him. And uh, you, I can help so, so many people. Uh, this, to be a hypnotherapist, you have to have inside of you. It's like things that you born with them. What I learned is the school is so impressed. My teacher, Marisa Pierre, has more than 30 years experience. So uh, I learned so many things and I can help so many people. And um, Another one thing with my instinct that, that following, I had a client that came to me for relation. She couldn't find the love or she never was happy. The man always leave her and I put her in hypnosis and um, at one point she say, I see a light that is coming in through my eyes. And um, I feel hot in my eyes. And I tell her, don't worry, I'm next to you. Just try to break this light. Go towards the light and break the light. And tell me what you see. 
And if you see how amazing it is that she went in, she break the light, and when the light opened, she could see in the dark that was her father. And she was like four years old, holding her hands like this. She was asking for the love of the father just to hold her. Oh, wow. Because the father never gave her love. Never when she was baby. So she's, she always suffered. She always needed for love because she never had when she was a baby. And for this, she couldn't find a good relation. No, wow. this will never let her. So see how impressive it is. It's amazing. Wow, that's a great story, Maria. I, yeah. You, you know, th this is something new to me. I, I, this is the first time I've heard this story, and what a great story. And, and I want to, I want to share this with people about yes. you. You are very positive, and you have a great heart. I mean, you, she, Maria has just a wonderful, wonderful heart and she wants to help people. And, oh, I and love so helping people. I love them. Hello. Very, very honest. And, and I highly recommend Maria to everyone because everyone can learn from you and yes. just as I have. What I want to tell to the people, not to be afraid of hypnosis is nothing scared, nothing. You are not sleeping, you are just relaxing. And the therapist is guiding you through the scenes that you had them in your life. So it's nothing scary. And, and Maria is absolutely right, is you can, you can, actually wake up at any time and you have total control so yes. it's not like you know nobody nobody has anything to worry about as far as what you do and what you provide so i i highly recommend you now can you you know you, you've already touched on on this you know about things in a person's past yeah relating to today you know what happens in today's world so can you touch more on that? Because that's very, very important, uh, you know, to moving forward with hypnotherapy. Yeah. Um, let's say hypnotherapy is the most fast and effective therapy because people now, they don't have time to go, let's say, one year and have talking and talking about the same thing every time. No, the world is moving fast. And if you go and talk about one issue every time, it's like you open a wound that will get infected one day because you keep talking and talking. And um, the mind, so we have, all of us, we have to be careful what we say to our mind. Very, very careful. The picture we make in our mind and the words we say to ourselves. This is two things that are very important. Let's say if you are in one situation, this I will give one example. Like people they are fear to go to do, fear of needles, fear of... Um, many medical procedures, like you do for cancer, that some of them, they are really, and they are painful and Not people, fun. <laughs> pe yes, people get stressed about this and they can have panic attacks and they say, I cannot go and have a chemotherapy because my body cannot take it. So me, I can help these people. I can set their mind to be positive and take this. So uh, let's say you are afraid and you can say to your mind, change the word to the word, I am fear. No, I am exciting. I love it. I love the pain. 
because your mind is letting in what you say. Is getting exciting. Like if you go in the aeroplane and you say, I'm afraid to go in this aeroplane. The, the aeroplane is like a coffin. And um, I cannot, I cannot enter in the plane. But if you say, oh, this plane is so nice. I will have a time to read a book. I will have a time for myself to watch a movie. And uh, if you think that after two hours, you will be in the destination that you want, and uh, think about how you're gonna spend the time in that country. So excite your mind, say nice words to your mind. And the mind is receptive, it's taking in everything we say to the mind. So it's, what I find fascinating, uh, and this isn't something that we, did discuss before, but what I'd, I'd like your feedback on this. So what is, why is it so important to feed your mind, in my case, with the audio tapes before I go to sleep? Uh, how, what is the connection of feeding your mind positive things before you go to sleep? How important is that? This is very, very important because before you go to sleep, and you remember I tell you, when you listen the audio, close your eyes and relax yourself because the words is going to your subconscious mind. It's going to the deep level. And for this is say, listen the audio for 21 days because the mind learned by repetition. But some people listen them more, two months, three months, how you feel more comfortable. But we say, listen them for 21 days yeah, because this is helping a lot, a lot, a lot. And you know by yourself, you know what I say into your uh, audio about your leg. And I knew that your leg will be better and you're gonna walk. Because with the words that I put in the audio, I excite your imagination. And you feel like that when I say your bones are like 30 years old man. Of course you laugh and your body is exciting. Your mind is exciting and you feel very good. Yeah, this is the- kind of a kind of an inside joke that we have that we joke about it uh, when she when she put that in there but it it it, it really st when I hear that portion of the audio tape when she says you know she wants my leg to be like a person who's 30 years old it, it really subconsciously really excites my mind which was is fascinating it, it's really fascinating and, and it really, just just to give you a little bit of an update, you know, I, I started listening and, and working with Maria uh, when I was walking with a cane. I, I had to use a cane still to walk. And now I'm to the point where I don't use a cane. I haven't used a cane at all. And um, I attribute a good portion of that to what Maria has done for me. And, and it's, I'm to the point now where uh, I'm exercising every day and I can actually walk fairly fast. You know, I still not a hundred percent, but it's progressing in a positive direction, which is really, really great. Which is really great. And so, yeah, it's, it's been a blessing, a true blessing and a great help. What I'd like to ask you now is how important is a person's mindset on a day-to-day -day basis and why? It's very important because you have to watch what you are saying to yourself every day. The way you are saying to yourself. 
this is very, very important. If you say nice words to yourself, you will have a nice day. And uh, let's say you have to go, I don't know if it's happened to you or to anyone that you have to go out and uh, uh, you know that if you say to your mind, oh, I'm not gonna find a parking. I know it's very busy in that place. For sure you will not find parking because you already went in this with the negative thoughts. It's, it's happened to too many people or people that uh, go in, uh, in a date with someone who say, oh, this guy will not like me. Look my hair, look my skin. Of course he will not like you because you already think negative from before. If you say to yourself, I'm very confident, I'm very beautiful. This guy will like me. Even this one doesn't like me, I will find another one. So you have to be very, very confident. And say nice words to yourself. Love yourself, appreciate yourself every day. I ask people, um, do you say to yourself, or you have the courage to say to yourself, I love you? I say, no, I never did it. Why not prize yourself? If you do something, let's say you achieve something today, when you go home, you say, bravo, you did very well. You will feel so good because maybe your boss will not say to you, oh, you did very well, but you, you'll say to yourself. You'll say, and you say, bravo, you did very well in this meeting. You are so good. And it's one thing. Try to say to yourself, it's like I'm doing this with children. Uh, I put them to say, uh, to hold this index finger and pull together. And uh, I say, okay, now you say bad words about yourself. And see how this trend here is opening because you say bad words about yourself. But try to say, I am amazing. I am extraordinary. I'm so good in school. Then your brain is getting exciting and this is getting very, very powerful. Try this exercise. You see like this index finger, pull it and say bad words and see how quickly this will open. But when you say powerful words to yourself, everything is changing. You have the power. You excite your mind. So... When you go to a doctor, just say, okay, I will take the pain. I can handle the pain. Yes, or move your, uh, don't focus on the pain. If you focus on the pain, you have more pain. This is for sure. And I, I actually use that in, in a medical procedure. And I'm not going to say what it is because it's just... It was so bad, but it was the one procedure that I really did not like and I feared. And, and so what I did was I just kept feeding my mind with positive thoughts. And, and, and the funny thing about it was when I was waiting for the doctor to come in to do the procedure, I was in a trance and, and I was you know, when he actually came to do the procedure and he finished, I was like, wow, yeah. I, it, it was, I, I thought, God, that wasn't bad at all. And, and I, I was amazed, absolutely amazed. And, and I told a, a good friend of mine about it and she said, God, I wish I could do that. She said, I fear just going to get a blood test. And, and, and she freaks out and, and if you feed your feed your mind fear of the procedure, I mean, she just kept saying, "Oh, it's so terrible in her mind." But you know, if she would just relax and feed herself, "Hey, I could do this. This is nothing. This is no problem." You know, if you feed your mind positive things, yes. the mind is just so amazing and so powerful that people don't realize it, and they don't. Uh, give their mind enough attention you know they give most people now a lot of people 
feed their bodies good food. You know, a lot of people eat organic and are conscious about what they're actually eating and feeding their body. But how many people actually work and feed their mind, now, which is, is very every important. bit every bit as important as feeding your body? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, oh, yes. And also for our brain, we have to eat good. It's very, very important also this. But people forget about this. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and it's so, thank you so much for exposing me to this, this world. I, I've been just fascinated by it because it works. It really works. And, and I attribute... Yeah. I attribute, um, you know, I don't know the percentages and I don't know, you know, all these things that I do work, but I know all these different components make up the whole and, and it really makes a big difference. And it can make a big difference in, you know, whether you have cancer, whether you have heart disease or whether you don't have any disease. You know, it, it's very, very helpful and very uh, beneficial to everybody. And, and so what I'd like to ask you, Maria, is for your final thoughts, uh, you know, with our conversation, what are your final thoughts uh, that you'd like to add? What I want to say to everyone, try to control your thoughts. This is very important for everyone. Your thoughts control your reaction. Your reaction control your feelings. If you can control your thoughts, you will have a good life. Don't let the thoughts to control you. You control them. And... Um, I will tell you one example, which was, is a bit sad, but in the end, I want people to understand how strong in the, is the mind. One example from a client that I have. Um, the client came to me, but she was feeling guilty and she was feeling not very good with herself. In one of the scenes, she see herself walking in the house she was pregnant with the third child. And she was looking around her house and she was saying in her mind, of course, without to want, the thoughts are coming into your mind. She was saying, I have only two rooms. I have two babies. Where am I going to put the third child? So she was looking and uh, looking and say, where am I going to sleep with this baby? Where am I going to put the baby? Um, my other two babies are here, my husband with me here. And this was in her mind all the time, all the time. In the night went to bed and she say, I felt so hot, I felt something strange in my body. And uh, the husband say, it's okay, don't worry, tomorrow we're gonna go to the doctor. So she went to the doctor and the doctor say, sorry to tell you, but the baby is dead. Mm. Yeah. So uh, we have to be careful what we say to our mind. Very, very careful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, but but e even though that story is very sad. Yes. Uh, you know. It's so important. The, the bottom line is, is our mind is like a computer and, and we are the programmer of our own mind. And so it's up to us to feed our mind with the positive nice words. Yes, positive. Yes, be positive. Nice uh, be positive, welcoming the changes into your life. Welcome them. Don't be afraid of the changes. Expect people to like you everywhere you go. It's also one thing. 
And when you use the wrong words, you will have wrong reality. So use positive words and you will have amazing life. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria. Uh, you, you are so awesome. You are truly amazing. And, and I thank you so much uh, for being with me on To Be Your Own Hero. And what I'd like to do is, is uh, from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you. And, and can you share uh, information about uh, your company and, and uh, your, your website? Yes, people can find me in... Uh in Facebook, Maria Motea, or double T, Maria, therapy by Maria.com. Okay, and I will post that in the, yes. uh, uh, in the YouTube channel and on my CaringBridge site and, and uh, so that people know exactly where to find you and, and how to contact you. And, and even though you're halfway around the world, we do, uh, you know, video calls all the time and, and she's amazing absolutely amazing so thank you so much maria for for joining me on to be your own hero and uh what i'd like to do is start closing this out uh thank you so much for joining us please subscribe like and make a comment in the comment section of the video and also please join us on thursdays at 12 p.m eastern 9 a.m. Pacific for Cancer Conquering Community on Thursdays. And uh, with my co-hosts, uh, Katie Gaspari, Linda Sherman, and Alex Rosa, and uh, Gilles Bouvier. So we've developed a really beautiful community of people who are cancer patients, cancer survivors, caretakers, nurses, doctors, and people who are interested in cancer. So please join us for that. But at this time, uh, what I'd like to say is be thankful. Uh, as Maria mentioned, be positive and be thankful for life. Life is beautiful. And take advantage of your opportunities and appreciate every single day, every single hour, every single minute, and every single second of every day and so thank you so much for joining us at to be your own hero and thank you maria and we will see you next time thank you so mark thank you so much so let's close out the recording